Okay guys, so it is May the 4th on our little homestead and it is now lambing season. So I'm gonna take you guys out here. I went out a little while ago and uh, we had a sheep that was going into labor and you could just start to see the hooves coming out. And so I decided to go back in the house, give her an hour and we're gonna go back out, check her out, see how she's doing. I had some problems with her last year. She had a, uh, a vaginal prolapse after she gave birth to her first lamb last season. So she's the one that I'm kind of concerned about this year. So let's go, uh, let's go check on her. As you can see, some of the girls are up. We have, sh um, we have seven ewes and let's see, two of them have already delivered. This is Dot. See from the spot on her shoulder here. It looks like we've got one on the ground. Oh, that's awesome. I don't see any problems behind you. All right. She was a really good mommy last year, so. This is her second, second year, so. She knows what she's doing. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. And I'm wondering, looks like she may still be going. Are we going to potentially have twins? She still looks pretty, pretty big. Is there another one in there? Okay, while she's doing her thing, I'll kind of show you guys the other babies. So, this is our first one. She had a little ram lamb on the first. And this morning, what are you doing down here by yourself? This mother, this is her second year. She gave us twin rams. So I'm really hoping that uh, we get a few a few girls out of this. We're still trying to grow this flock. I can say we've only got seven seven girls. So hopefully this one down here uh, will be our first female of the bunch. All right. There you go. Get up, little one. So it's about 11.30 at night. That seems to be the trend around here. All the girls decide they're gonna have their babies in the middle of the night. But so far this year, we've had no delivery problems. I've just woke up to having babies and it's been great. See her stomach still really contracting once in a while. I'm wondering if are we going to have another one or not. See, I came out to the twins. This is only our second year having them, so I don't know how far in between, you know, how much time there is in between two births, if there is a, a second one. This is all going to be new to me. Mom's getting her all cleaned up. It's funny how they just have the instinct to go right up underneath mom and start looking. Looking for that teat. Wrong end, girl. Look, and I'm already calling you a girl. That's my wishful thinking. I 
uh, we'll give them a couple minutes here and see how things progress. So, looks like somebody's getting an evening snack. Now this mama, she hasn't been very good. She will not let her babies feed. So I had to hold her and uh, make her let the babies feed. Um, she was going hours without them eating. So I had to do that with her last year as well. And um, I think we ended up getting, getting them straightened out after we kind of forced her to, to let them feed. I don't know if that's common or not, but uh, that's what my daughter and I did. I held her while, while Haley uh, brought the lambs to her and kind of got them latched. And uh, right after that, it seemed like she started letting them, letting them come on again. So hopefully that's behind us, but I need to make sure I keep watching her that she's, uh, she's taking care of them babies. All right, so I'm thinking while we're out, we should probably make sure that uh, none of the other ones are going to go into labor. So we'll kind of snoop around a little bit, see how everybody's doing. I don't, I don't think the way everybody's acting, anybody else is going to be going in. This one here's a first year mama. Another first year. So we had we had four singles last year uh three of which were were female one one ram uh that ram ended up feeding our family at easter time so i got the three girls pregnant and so this is of course going to be their their first run like i say so far the the first of the three she has been excellent so hopefully that trend continues for the others this girl here she is one that I suspect is going to twin. She is has really blown up. Uh, she's really carrying her weight on both sides. So I'm hoping that we're going to have twins from her. She was excellent last year. Um, so like I said, I, I think she'll she'll be uh, hopefully giving us two two nice healthy lambs this year. We'll see. And finally, this is our other second year mom. She is the one that gave us the ram last year. So we'll see how she does as well. I think she's showing about the least. I don't know, she's not quite as as wide as the as the black one down there. It looks like she's mainly favoring hers on her right hand side. But uh, I don't know, we'll see. As long as they're healthy, like I say, I'll be, I'll be excited about it. Oh, oh, I was going to turn the camera off, but I think that the baby is already, already on. She's a lot closer now, isn't she, Dot? Oh, yeah, you hear it slurping? Raising sheep has been such an awesome experience. Because if any of you guys are are considering this, like I guess I've I've absolutely loved it. The kids love it too. Like I said, we've got three kids. Uh, my daughter, she's thirteen. She she's really into it. And my the middle son, he's six. He he really enjoys coming out and and playing with the animals too. So definitely definitely great to have around I uh, just mucusy back here I don't see anybody else showing any hooves or anything okay so what I'm gonna do since she has uh, has that one on the ground and he's uh, he's eating good he or she um, I'm gonna give him give him another 20 minutes or so 
and uh, we'll come back out and we'll see if she's progressing either either through delivering possibly another lamb or if she's going to be working on passing the afterbirth and then of course we'll know the pregnancy's uh, concluded so we'll give it a little bit and i'll bring you just back out with me here uh here in about about 20 minutes or so uh, you just a single that's okay kind of feeling like we might i think we've got our first girl i'm pretty sure I don't see any I don't see any balls under there. I'm gonna say that's probably our first girl. Chalk that up as a win. So it's about 38 degrees out here tonight. And uh like I said it's May 4th and we're in southern Pennsylvania. And so we usually put the ram in. Uh we've been doing it right um about the first second week of December. So they drop in May so that I don't have a barn or anything. That way we have them around here on pasture and the ground's not too cold and we have a good success rate. But uh, this year, it has been unusually cold for May. We actually had snow flying, uh, I believe it was yesterday morning. Of course, nothing, nothing laid, but not very far to the west of us. They, uh, they had the snow laying, so... But, uh, I don't know. I think they're going to be just fine. Um, I'll, I'll probably come back out and I'll check on her, I'm sure, again one more time throughout the night. If there's anything to to document, I'll be sure to uh, to take some video of it. But um, maybe maybe she's going to be done. I guess we'll uh, wait and see. Well, that made for a long night. I can tell you I am not ready to be up this morning. It's a little before 7 o'clock. And I uh, got to get ready to get the kids to school. But I want to bring you guys out here. Let's check them out this morning. See how everybody did. Had a pretty good frost on the car this morning. But see how everybody fared. That is one of her twins. It's the other one laying there. I noticed last night she was doing a much better job letting them feed. She kept standing and letting them, letting them nurse. Here is last night's mom. She's still in about the same place. How you doing, Dot? Oh, your baby's sweet. She's a cutie pie. Ah, you're okay. So, so everybody did well. I guess we'll see. See how the last four go. Like I say this one here, I'm pretty sure she's going to be my other twin. We'll see. But uh, shoot time's definitely fun with the lambs. So. I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching, and uh, I'll keep you up to date on how the rest of them do. Thanks.